Zach Vea back again for Cult of Athena. Today I have three Kukri blades for you. We have the 10 inch Dragon Blade from American Eagle Kukri. You can see that ridge back on it with this designed flat of the blade here. This is the largest 10 inch model. Come down to a bone handle that's pin construction. Very thick, full tang. And you'll see the grip is nice and secure. bring it to the 8 inch model. More of a plain finish on this with a slight groove. As you can see that same handle, this time with two pins. An exposed full tang. And that forward sweeping curve that is signature to the Kukri blade. These are the little guy, which is actually very close to the size of a pocket knife. Yep. So you'll see the water buffalo leather and the strings that are constructing the belt loop. See it's all nicely stitched together. And we have the belt loop itself which if you pull it back you'll see that you can easily get a regular size or a little bit wider of a belt in here. And it looks, it may look from the color of it like this is not tough but you can see that there's some flex to it, especially if you keep it oiled. But even just how these come to us from the factory, it's not like a potato chip where it's just going to like snap. So this is still very tough material for a scabbard. And we have the same, show all three. Same stitching. Same belt loop that opens very nicely. wood scabbard on the inside and then down to the last one which actually has a steel accent on it and then finally this one model are all 5160 high carbon steel all very thick spines on them thick stock for any kind of utility work, chopping, bushcrafting. You'll see these more when we start doing the cutting and everything with them today. But these are definitely very beautiful. As you know, the Gurkha Kukri has a reputation of being a military blade. It's actually the official blade of Nepal. So they actually have a national blade, which I think is really cool. The handles, to my knowledge, they are buffalo horn. Now, they are lacquered slightly. They're not slippery. I wouldn't consider these to be slippery. They're not overly lacquered. There is a little bit of a pull on the handle when you're chopping. However, I believe these are horn. The other uh, cowbow, the other buffalo horn that I felt and swung around feels very similar to this. So now we've taken a look at some specs for these Nepalese cookery blades. We are going to do some chopping with them and see how well the edges hold up. Make sure the handles are all secure and everything. I don't really doubt it. I mean, look how thick this thing is. <laughs> I don't see it uh, chipping or anything like that, but you got to prove it now. Let's get to it. So let's do some chopping with the 10-inch model.
forward curve on the blade is really what's getting it that maximum chopping power from the tip to really the upper third. That's what I'm really seeing on the chopping here. I actually really like this secure grip, the thick handle on these. I think that's why they have them where the handle fills your grip rather than some European swords that taper down. That way when you're chopping, much like an ax for this being the utility type of cookery, it stays in your hand. So really awesome. Let's go to the eight inch bottle now so we can see what this that one will do. You gotta put a little bit more force into it. This was not as much behind it, but yeah, it did pretty well. really well nothing's loose take a look at the edge but we're gonna do something a little bit different for this one we're gonna do some jabbing the jab is a, a quick attack we're gonna use that thrust that direct thrust with it to some of the trees here the biggest thing that I'm looking for here is how secure is the grip that is the biggest thing and by the way if you're using a knife in this fashion Make sure you cap it, don't leave it here because if you don't have a guard, you're going to lose your hand. You'll see that having that thumb secured right into the grip, just as the handle allows you to, when I'm jabbing with this, you see that the thumb is securing it. So that's really awesome that's able to do that and keep that in my hand. Even on power thrusting, we're coming over the top on the two. We're in the vertical. The hand is not moving. That's really awesome. There's no damage on the tip. Didn't expect there to be, but we'll take a look at it. Really awesome set of blades. Triple threat set. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. So make sure you subscribe to the Cult of Athena YouTube channel. Like this video. Follow us over on Instagram at Cult of Athena and let me know what you want to see reviewed in the coming future. I hope to talk to you soon.